Hello everyone, now it's been a while since I've done a video because uh, you might be able to see I've got barrier cream on there. I uh, ran a, an electric planer across the back of my hand which wasn't that good. So I've been out from the throwing for about five weeks, four weeks. I'm just back at it now. Uh, this is um, some black grogged clay. Just doing some tea balls. I normally, by this time of the year, have uh, finished more or less with all the shows for the year and I uh, tend to uh, sort of wind down the ceramic side and work on other projects to do with the house and the garden and all that sort of thing but um, I've decided to have a Christmas open studio soon that I've got the garden done nicely uh, I've decided to hold an, an open studio in December so it's the first one I've ever done so I'm just making a kiln full of pots for that uh, for that event, um, and these are the first uh, first things back. They're easy enough to do. This is a great tool. It's by uh, you can get them from Alex Shimwell. Uh, it's a metal rib he's given me. You can purchase them from him. I'll put the uh, contact details in. in the um, description below it's a really good useful tool you will post worldwide so how much they are about 15 pound foot foot and uh, get in touch with them and that's the first one just using it to put some marks up the outside Do you one more? The uh, now that all the main shows have finished, all the big events have finished. I've got one more craft fair that I'm doing with my pop-up tea bowl and teaware shop. I've got a pop-up shop now that I can sort of roll out anywhere, and it offers tea bowls and tea and whisks and uh, teaspoons and caddies and teapots my pots in general don't normally go down well at uh, craft events or mixed craft events so I've, uh, I've done a line of, of tea bowls that are a little bit more attractive to the general public And I've got uh, an event in, in, in a couple of weeks. They're all done, they're all made, waiting to be glazed, fired. This is for the open studio. But uh, because it's the end of the ceramic season for me, I've uh, started putting more work on the Etsy site. Before, I was, as I was making it, it was selling and I didn't get a chance to didn't get a chance to put anything on the Etsy side, but now I've got space and pots um, the Etsy site's available again now with some new pots, so if you want to check out the uh, the shop site it is uh, in the bottom underneath the in the descriptions there's another one you can see, I think, where the, the grog takes this. And there we have it. Okay, those uh, those last two were a sort of a scrape-sided tea bowl. These ones are going to be uh, a cut-sided. I'm going to use a cheese cutter. 
this will open the texture up a lot more and, and sort of show show the texture of the body a lot more. I like to have a nice sort of contrast in pots. Some people like a more open body. Some will go for the crawly chino. Sort of question of taste really, what you, what you like. Now this will be more of a cylinder rather than a cone shape like the last ones. A little bit thicker. I've made the balls of clay slightly bigger. Just 100 grams bigger. These are 700 grams as opposed to 600. And the reason for that is to allow for the clay that's being cut off. So as it comes round, you'll see how texture this is and then once I've cut it I don't touch the outside surface anymore um, so stretch it from the inside you can hear the uh, the grog in this clay, it's fantastic. It's like uh, old fush it's like old fashioned hand cut bricks. Uh, so that's it done. I'll then use a, a tool here to support the the base at the same time as trimming it off. And I'll just belly it out a little bit. I do smooth the top bit here because obviously this is the bit that's going to touch your lip when you drink from it. I do hope that people buy these pots to use rather than just to look at. And I've just run my finger up the inside just slowly, oh sorry quickly, to give a kind of spiral into it to make it a little bit more uneven opens the texture a little bit more and that's that one done I do a straight sided one and then this next one I'll show you will be a sort of a more sort of a moon shaped type of one a more globular a global not globular more sort of a globe shaped pot Difficult centering with a dodgy hand. These are all going to have carved foot rings. Coming back after uh, coming back after four or five weeks away from the from the wheel, it's a bit uh, it was a bit strange. Luckily, muscle memory takes over, so you just don't have to think too much about it. Just get on with it. try and throw these out into a more rounded shape. That's it. Like I said earlier, please check out the Etsy site.
Christmas is coming and the goose is getting fat <laughs> maybe if somebody buys some of my pots I can have a turkey with two legs on this year see you soon